what is growing on? I don't think I've ever started a video under here before. We're kind of in the back of the house, um, underneath the pole barn here on the farm. And I wanted to show you guys what was kind of going on this morning. So I kind of did the unthinkable, something I talk a lot about not doing. Um, and I purchased a tiller. And I didn't specifically purchase this for the tiller, but I do plan on using that tiller in my Centropic agroforestry system to reestablish some grass. And that specialty grass being the Mombasa grass where I have not been able to get it going. Um, due to the Bahia just being so tough. So shout out to my man Casey uh, and Tori with uh, homie, uh, Honey Tree Homestead up in South Carolina. Um, he actually met me in Georgia with this thing a couple weeks ago. He found it used local to his house. This is an 852 BCS Italian made tractor. Um, and, and this is a great little implement machine for a small scale homestead, small farm. Um, you know, great, really popular with market gardeners. This thing is made in Italy. It's really, really well made. I specifically purchased it for this bad boy. Um, and this is a 72 inch sickle bar. And another shout out so to my local BCS dealer is Grove Equipment right here in Bartow and I think Plant City. Um, shout out to those guys over there. Aaron, Derek, I appreciate you guys. They actually literally brought this thing over just to let me demo it. I haven't even purchased it yet. So I'm gonna play with it today. If we like it, I'm buying it. Um, the idea would be to take this machine, you know, to take this implement and to do some kind of fabrication work to it and make it actually lay the grass up against the row so we don't have to rake it in. But this is definitely gonna still make life a lot easier. So these BCS tractors are really nice. Um, of course, got the Honda. This 852 model is specific to, um, I believe a grass cutting model. This is also electric start. Um, you know, the handle on this thing swings from one side to the other. It'll go off to the side if you wanna go down a row. Um, so either direction this will work. It actually has, it came with the tiller, um, multiple speeds. It has a real transmission on it. Um, actually, I haven't even used this thing enough to exactly know how it works. So I'm gonna be learning how to use it. I played with it for about a half an hour the other day. I figured out all the controls. Well, that was the other day. And when I said the other day, it was probably over a week ago. I need to play with it again this morning and get it cutting, but we're excited to try it out out there. I think even after I'm done with the sickle bar, I'm gonna put the tiller back on and actually kill one or two of those areas, not huge areas, not the whole row, but try putting that seed back in. So you guys ready to see this thing in action? Hold tight. Whoa, I just realized I started the action without getting any footage of actual grove out here. Um, you could see how tall the grass was. Oh my gosh, this took me about 30 seconds to cut that row. Um, I went over this one, I think one pass. I got another pass to make on that one. I've done two passes on this one and one pass on this one. And these are the areas where I was talking about I want to till um, and get the Mombasa a little bit more established. Same thing on this row, although I will say that seeding that I recently did with the overcast of the biochar compost, not only do I notice that we have a better seed um, population and more Mombasa out here, but the main thing I'll tell you guys that like, wow, this place is greener. Like this grass is as tall as me. I could go in there and hide and you wouldn't see me. Um, it's pretty crazy. So this has gotten really, really tall. Um, first thing that I've noticed with the sickle bar is this would be way easier if I would have cut this before it got this tall because it is laying over a little bit. Um, what I'm doing is when I get to the end of the row, I throw it in reverse and it clears whatever I left on top of that blade. Um, other than that, life's going pretty easily. I'm gonna get you guys some drone footage, a little bit more action of the cutting and in works here, but sorry for uh, not getting you a video before I started this thing. So but super impressed. I mean, I can't tell you how lush and green even the grass looks just from putting the compost biochar on it made a huge difference out here. So stay tuned. Whoa. All right. So that was a game changer. The BCS definitely made life a little bit easier out here. We got through this in probably a 10th of the time we normally would have doing an irrigation check now. That blade is kind of big, just making sure that I didn't cut any of the heads in the beds. I, like I mentioned, we do have micro irrigation in this system. Um, not running it right now in rainy system, but I, rainy season, but I want to make sure it works before I just leave a bunch of cut heads out here. Um, got a couple of spots like right there where I got to cut some grass that maybe got loosened to the bed a little bit. But you can see, I mean, look at all this material. I don't think I'm actually going to make it to using the tiller today and putting any more grass back on this or more seed back in here. Um, but man, the system is pumping. So quite impressed with the machine. Definitely a game changer. Definitely helped us out a little bit, made life a little bit easier. Gonna be showing you guys tons of updates on that now. 
especially as we start to till some rows in here um, and expand. I do a plan on expanding the system, bringing the rows all the way out to this fence, almost as far as this fence, basically as far down as that bamboo is right there. So we're gonna pretty much move the chickens over to that side of the field, keep on expanding the system, even thinking about starting to try to run the chickens down the rows. So gonna do some veg over here on this side this year, planning on doing a couple more rows, probably before um, September, October, this way we can catch that prime veggie growing season here. And once again, shout out to Casey meeting me in Georgia for that machine. Um, shout out to the guys at Grove Equipment. That's the local BCS dealer for letting me try that sickle blade. I think we're in love with it. I think I'm gonna purchase it. Um, I did consider a smaller one that is a 72. Smaller one's like three to six months on back order. So my impatience is probably gonna cause me to get the 72. Um, keep cutting with it. So stay tuned. You guys are gonna see a lot of that here. Hope you guys enjoyed this quick follow-up video. Um, I feel like I literally just cut this three or four weeks ago. I'm blown away how green it was, how much it grew since the last time. I think it had a lot to do with that top dressing, biochar, um, compost application. So I was just asking Ryan, I'm gonna have to go back to the video, um, but he thinks we cut this about a few weeks ago, a month tops. This is the, you know, the quickest this stuff's ever grown, the quickest I've had to get back in here and cut this material. Um, summer rains, top dress, I think it's a combination of good stuff. So if you guys wanna see more on the system, you guys want to see more on the sickle bar you want to see more of that bcs be sure to hit that subscribe button so you can stay in tune be sure to hit that bell so you get the notifications every time i upload a new video most importantly this is the time to get out there and pound some dirt so if you guys enjoyed this video pound dirt